the third one is kind of almost the same thing. Why don't you break it down for us? All right, well, just like I mentioned before, kind of like the whole, um, around Christmas time, there inevitably becomes the debate of happy holidays versus Merry Christmas. And you have people who argue that not everyone celebrates Christmas. If you don't know the person, you should say happy holidays to be safe, political correctness, yada, yada, yada. I want to say that I celebrate Christmas. I want someone to say Merry Christmas to me. I'm going to say Merry Christmas to someone else. That's just what I do. I don't say Happy Holidays. I think Merry Christmas rolls off the tongue better. I think it's just... It's more convenient for me to say Merry Christmas, so I'm going to do it. And you know what? When I was... when I was, th- This became a thing recently. The Happy Holidays versus the Merry Christmas. When yeah. we were kids, it was Merry Christmas. No I can't. Th- I, can th- I think around 6th grade is when I started hearing that like in school teachers would start saying Happy Holidays. But let me tell you something. Who is offended by me saying Merry Christmas? It's not like if you're a Jewish person, I'm like Merry Christmas, and if you don't, if you don't acknowledge, like people think in some kind of imperialistic way, I'm like trying to, to be like a missionary of Christmas on you and like force you to believe this. That's some crap. And here's another thing: by saying Merry Christmas, you're wishing goodwill yeah, onto the person. It's exactly. not, it doesn't have a negative connotation, mm-hmm. or at least it shouldn't. If you're saying Merry Christmas to someone, it's Merry Christmas. You know. It, it's, it's virtually the same if you want to say it's happy holidays. It's like, I'm wishing this goodwill onto you by saying Merry Christmas. If that person says anything other than Merry Christmas in return, th- if they say, like, oh, I'm a Jew, well, way to ruin that happy well, spirit. I mean... Thanks thanks for making me feel like a douchebag. That's fine. That's fine if they're like that. But I can't imagine... I've, I mean, I have Jewish friends, like I said, the Christmas ones and, and others. I don't think I could ever offend them by saying Merry Christmas. Because yeah. it's not... Like I said... It's not offensive There's no term. harm... Like, I'm not, it's not, it's, it's not like I'm telling them, like, like, flipping them the bird by saying Merry Christmas. I'm not. And Joe's right. Christmas is about, is, is about looking at other people and trying to make their life, like, a little better. And it's about all of us kind of coming together for a time and celebrating as one that, like, the year's about to, it's, it's like, New Year's is coming around. We've all got these religious holidays, boom, boom, boom. Like, we got Ramadan, we got Hanukkah, we got Christmas, we got Kwanzaa even. Not really sure what Kwanzaa is all about, but that's just my own ignorance. And, like, we got all of them together. We're all kind of celebrating. And that's where the Happy Holidays comes from. But Christmas is the most widely probably celebrated. Pro- probably the most widely celebrated holiday. Yes. That there is. And that's why it becomes the umbrella term. For yeah. for, for the for the holiday season. And, and it doesn't diminish the importance of your religion or your beliefs. And I think it actually kind of... I mean... And let me put it this way. Yeah. If I know someone is Jewish... I'm going to say, happy Hanukkah. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to, I mean, if I know they're not Christian, I'm not, I'm not going to say Merry Christmas to them. That'd be stupid. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm saying Merry Christmas to people I don't know because I, I, I celebrate Christmas. I would want someone to say Merry Christmas to me. Yeah. Do you want the others as someone, do you want to do like the golden rule thing? And I think I'm going to, I'm going to misconstrue it to mean this. Yeah. But if I, for my Jewish friends, I say happy Hanukkah. I don't say happy holidays, some general umbrella term that can mean anything. I think it's more intimate if you yeah, say exactly. Happy Hanukkah or Merry Christmas than Happy Holidays. It means, oh, I know what faith you are. I'm going to acknowledge that. Yep. And I'm going to say, I, I, ex- I, ex- I accept it, I'm okay with it, and I celebrate it. I'm, I'm yep. completely all right with that. If you and know the person, if you know the person, what they celebrate, say what they celebrate. And Don't say Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays is just not, gen- like Joe was saying, it's not intimate, it's not genuine. It's like... It's politically correct. Yeah, it's politically correct. You're not you're not taking any interest in what this person is doing. You're not you're not really wishing them anything. You're just trying to get out of an uncomfortable situation in the holidays by copping out, basically. Exactly. And if, if I say Merry Christmas and I'm mistaken, you tell me, oh, I was Jewish, I'll say, my bad, happy Hanukkah. But I think it's better to say Merry Christmas to somebody who's not Catholic than it is to say happy Hanukkah all the time. Like, you, there's a reason that we don't go around saying happy Hanukkah to everybody. Because then that would be, that would be offensive. Like, oh... You're, you're saying this because... I don't know you if, think be, I I don't know if you'd be offensive. It'd just be a very... It's not even close to hit or miss. It's no. Miss. Yeah, it's it's either... It's, the Jewish yeah, population exactly. in, in this country... I mean, you can say happy... Hon- if you were, if we lived in Israel, we just ran around saying happy Hanukkah. Yeah. Sure. Well, not not as much as you would think, actually. Well, yeah, I understand that. But it, it'd be more acceptable than here. Yeah. All right. I see your point. So, I'm going to fail the happy holidays instead of Merry Christmas. Yes, me it's too. Merry Christmas. I'm down with that. Here we go. You blew it! And, of, of course, this is our last show... If anybody has an opinion on this, why don't you give us a call, 845-575-3691. We haven't heard from some callers in a while. I mean, we yeah, did have one earlier. But these are some things that everybody can kind of relate to. So let's, let's move on to number, number four, four, Scott. 
Holiday music and movie overload. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Every single person. The fact that there is a countdown to the 25 days of Christmas in November, right after Thanksgiving ended, there were Christmas movies on Thanksgiving, first of all. Yes. And that's that's when the, the radio stations start playing Christmas stuff nonstop. No breaks, Merry Christmas, down your throat. It's getting shoved. It's getting shoved down your throat. And then there's a countdown to the 25 days of Christmas on certain channels, meaning that you might as well just call it, like, the 36 days of Christmas. <laughs> because you're counting it down anyway. I think... To, to reduce the overload, that's what I'm calling it. It's an overload because I don't really want to get in the mindset of Christmas until probably on or around December 15th. Really? Maybe December 13th. They've you got the 12 days of Christmas. You realize we're talking about Christmas on December 9th. Well, that's because we don't have a show next week. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's more because we have to. But I, I think that, to, like, because if you do these things so many times, you you take away, you diminish its meaning, is the value of it. You know what? I'm, I'm okay with... Starting Christmas music and decorations and getting in Christmas mood on December first. I because I associate and many others associate December with Christmas. That's true. All right. So as soon as December first hit hits, I think it's all right. Those who play it right after Thanksgiving or even before Thanksgiving in November, that's no good. That's way too early. Way after too Halloween early. is way way too early. Way too early. But as soon as December first hits, I'm okay with 25 days of Christmas. I'm not okay with the prelude to 25 days of Christmas, but 25 days of Christmas is okay. I mean, you know, I don't like music, but I'm completely okay with Christmas songs. So you're, you're saying I, 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 December, Christmas music's okay? December rolls around, it's, it's, it's okay? I, I'm completely okay with hol- uh, holiday music on the sheet. Christmas music and music overload. Sorry, yeah, it was... What other holiday... Drill, 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 what else? I name mean, another Name another non-Christmas holiday song. I would I'm, say not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm a Christian, even, so it's hard for me to say. I would even. Well, that's true. I would even say, "Let us know with the Wonderland" are both Christmas songs. Yeah, they, they S- Sleigh Ride is definitely. They transformed. Just Christmas because songs. it does. Yeah. But um, I'm, I'm gonna pass. So, this. so how gonna, about this? I'm gonna pass with Christmas music and movie overload. You said you said decoration. It's December. That's fine. Yes. Movies. It's December. Fine. That's fine. The the countdown before is no good. No but good. 25 days of Christmas. I'm fine with that too. I also. I think that my major problem with this is just the music, and mostly just because you can't escape it. And it gets to you after a while, after days, especially if you work somewhere where there's music constantly being played. Like, Joe does, but the music has no real meaning to him because he doesn't, like, really listen to it. Kind of just tunes it out. But, like, it kind of it kind of wears you down after. Like, I, w- I would like to start hearing Christmas songs maybe December 10th. Like, and that's my only real thing, because then when it's Christmas time and you play the songs, it's like, oh, we've heard this, like... It, it doesn't mean anything anymore. You know, this might surprise you, but I'm going to be completely honest right now. Yeah. Christmas music, although I don't like music and don't listen to music, Yeah. Christmas music gets me excited. I'm going to I'm gonna say, Christmas music, if I hear just all of a sudden a Christmas song on, like, wherever, just walking into, yeah. a, like, you know, Rite Aid and there's Christmas music playing. Yeah, I, I like I'd it be too. like, yes, it's Christmas like season. The season's awesome. here. Yeah, exactly. I'm pumped. But you see, I'm not someone who listens to music all the time. So if I hear a song that's different, like "Oh my God, another reminder of Christmas," I mean, it, maybe it means di- means something different. But yeah. for someone who doesn't listen to music and just associates Christmas music strictly with Christmas, I get excited. Yeah. I like Christmas. No, it it does. It it is exciting. I'm completely okay with playing for Christmas sure. music. I just think I think just think it's a little much. And I also think that my biggest problem too with the Christmas movies is that they'll play the same movie all day, and that gets cut like. There's not much variety, and I get that you have 25 days to plan for, so you got to mix the movies up. But like, I mean, I mean, don't don't play a marathon every single day of the same Christmas movie, is what I'm getting at. And like, save some time for some regular programming too. Yeah, I would like that. Yeah. So um, are you pass or fail on this? I mean, I'm gonna pass it. I don't think it, I mean it. It, 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 it is it. an overload, and I would change some things, but I'm as it. it is now, aside from some minor, minor things, I, I mean, I don't mind it. I'm gonna pass it in the general sense. Yay! That's three passes. That's three passes. Yeah, we're doing good. Never happened before, I don't think. It's because I I like Christmas, so it's just all right. Yeah. Um.